Hi everyone, it's Debbie Marza, the author of The Covert Passive Aggressive Narcissist. And today I want to talk to you about cognitive dissonance. This is what makes these type of relationships so incredibly confusing and mentally and emotionally exhausting. So cognitive dissonance is when you have two conflicting beliefs in your mind. So when you're raised by a covert narcissist or have had a long relationship with one and they appear to be one way but then are treating you differently than other people see and they're behaving differently than you are used to them behaving than how they behaved when they loved bombed you and even throughout the relationship there was a mixture of seemingly loving acts and behavior mixed with devaluing. So it's very confusing for our brains and our bodies to have two conflicting beliefs. On one hand, we have this belief that this person loves us and cares about us and is good hearted and kind and how they appear to everyone else and then on the other hand, they're saying things that are very cruel and they're treating you in a way that's so dishonoring and so disrespectful and so bizarre that to have those two beliefs happening in your brain at the same time is incredibly confusing. And it's doubly confusing when you have people out there only seeing that one side of them. So it can make this a very lonely road because often you are the only one that experiences this type of treatment from the covert narcissist. And that adds to the confusion and the crazy making aspect of it. So it's helpful to know as you're healing and trying to figure things out that this is what's happening and this is why it's so difficult, that cognitive dissonance, because who do you trust? Basically what it comes down to is you have to get to the place where you trust yourself. And that's really difficult after years of not trusting yourself and believing in something that was actually an illusion. And we're not made for this type of behavior. We are made, you know, when, when our bodies are happy and we feel love, our blood actually flows smoothly and cleanly and as it should. When we are under a lot of stress, our blood becomes like a marsh and that's when disease happens. So these are incredibly toxic relationships. And with the whole cognitive dissonance, I think what happens is the more educated you get and the more support you have around you, the more people you have around you that have been through this as well, the more videos like this that you watch, over time, you're going to get more clear and you're going to get stronger in who you are. And that's going to help with the cognitive dissonance a lot. Um, but if you're at that place where you're just discovering this is a covert narcissist you've been dealing with, um, or you're just beginning to heal, this is a big deal. And I completely understand. And it's common with every single person that has dealt with a covert narcissist. So know that you are not alone, that this is a thing and you will get through it and you won't always have that cognitive dissonance that you will, that you do right now. So lots of love to you. Take very good care of yourself and I will talk to you soon.